The Hampton Roads community is grieving the loss of influential Christian broadcaster Pat Robertson. He died at the age of 93. Robertson is known for starting CBN, the Christian Broadcast Network in Virginia Beach back in the 1960s. But he'll also be remembered for his contributions to our region. Philip Townsend takes a look back at Robertson's life and legacy. Pat Robertson always tried to follow what he called his life verse. It came from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and do it all he did. Robertson's Virginia roots ran deep. He was born in Lexington, March 22, 1930, the son of U.S. Senator A. Willis Robertson, a conservative Southern Democrat. While he's known worldwide as Pat, his real name is Marion Gordon Robertson. He got the nickname Pat from an older brother who liked to pat him on the cheeks. Robertson didn't stray far from home to attend college, earning his first degree from Washington and Lee University. From there, he went on to serve two years active duty in the U.S. Marine Corps before attending Yale Law School. At the end of his second year in law school, Pat married his wife, Dee Dee Elmer. Together, they had four children. Robertson always said his priorities in life, God first, family second, and work third. But it is his work that he'll best be remembered for. In 1960, he founded the first Christian television network in the U.S. Today, CBN is one of the world's largest television ministries. It produces programming seen in 90 nations, heard in 50 different languages. Robertson, of course, hosted CBN's flagship program, The 700 Club, for decades, stepping down from the role on October 1st. He also founded Regent University in 1977, also serving as its president and chancellor. A year later, he started Operation Blessing, a nonprofit relief and development organization. From the pulpit to politics, Robertson was known as a public voice for conservative Christianity in the U.S. He unsuccessfully campaigned to become the Republican Party's nominee in the 1988 presidential election. Robertson lost, but ended up endorsing President Bush. He never had any regrets. Robertson used the remainder of his campaign resources to jumpstart the creation of the Christian Coalition. And as a result of his seeking public office, Robertson no longer served in an official role for any church. But it is his role as a religious leader he will always be remembered for. God like that is nothing to heal somebody's side. And people across the country are taking time to remember Pat Robertson as a leader, educator, and media mogul. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin posted on Twitter, quote, Robertson was an inspiring Virginian and a passionate servant of the Lord whose lifelong example leaves a legacy matched by very few. The Regent University community is also reflecting on his life. One recent graduate credits Robertson for drawing him to the university's law program. Because of what he did and because of the faith he had, it allowed me the opportunity to be able to come to school. And um, so now I can impact other lives. In a statement, the executive vice president for academic affairs at Regent University called Robertson a globally renowned leader, broadcaster, and faithful servant of God. Robertson was also controversial, known for making inflammatory comments against abortion, homosexuality, and Muslims.